that they have claimed that they want to do this. And it says openly in a lot of uh, court cases in their time that they've had about this to have people wanting them to change it is we want to do this just to make our products better. Because Google's always trying to make their stuff better and better. And it, they say that this is the point where this is the best way to make our stuff better is just let our, all our products do whatever they want. And you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Well, the problem is you can't turn off the information share. Yeah. Like, I have an Android phone. You don't have to use Google. Google. No. You don't, you don't have, have to use Google. Google. But again, the, a lot of people do use Google products like Gmail. And the convenience of it is going to outweigh it. So I guess the, it's right, though. If you have a huge opposition to it, you can choose to not, choose use, to not it. use it. You can use Yahoo or something. Um, but, AOL. but the you problem is, <laughs> copy you, sir. You know, um, wow. throwback. Um, anyway, Windows um, Live. Yeah. Anyway, well, we, we have that. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> but um, I, I mean, you could do that. But a lot of people, though, probably like outside the tech world, probably won't know anything about the changes to the privacy yeah, policy. Probably won't know any difference. There'll probably be a five-minute blurb on March first on C CBS saying privacy policies have changed. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba, and then people won't think about it the next day. So it's up to us as technological people to tell the people that we know to go, just so you know, this is happening, and if you don't like the idea of it, you know, you probably look to do something else March 1st. Uh, that, that, the biggest problem I have with this is just there was such a huge uprising for things like SOPA, Deck IP, and everything. And it's like this comes up that's, you know, it, it's a privacy issue. It doesn't get nearly as much, you know, press about it. Um, and it just, well, and I mean, especially with those things coming up, you've now taken information that was fragmented, a little bit difficult to get at, and you put it all in one spot. Mm -hmm. and so, I mean, yeah. it's not that necessarily what they're doing is bad mm -hmm. in general. It's that with all the other things going on, they've just made it a lot easier to track fit you into some mold. Yeah. You know, right. You know, or to, to track you. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it really, I mean, they could, it, it very well, Google could just use it to help everyone. It'll be a fantastic thing, and people will love it. And nothing bad will happen, their system will never get hacked, it'll be fantastic. You're but, staring the wrong way. But they thought the same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to them. No. Yeah. It'd be fantastic. They thought of the same on PlayStation Network. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you, can, you want to explain the PlayStation Network incident? Basically, what right, right, right. is some people hacked into the PlayStation Network and grabbed about there's three or four million people's account information, yeah. including credit card information, addresses, names, things like that. You know, and PlayStation Network is big. Mm -hmm. Sony is a big corporation. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah, Google's a little bit bigger, but to say that it couldn't happen, that Google's going to protect you all the time, is it's, 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 it's really yeah. You know, yeah I mean, not even Amazon, Amazon got hacked the yeah. other day, and Zappos got hacked. Like, like. It, their packing is becoming more sophisticated, where even the largest corporations cannot prove People, I mean, there are people out there that all they do is try to take down these sites, just as like a, to see if they, you know, get the information. So we can't assume that Google is secure enough to do that. However, they do have a lot of security in place for these kind of things. Having it all in one place means instead of having to rob six banks, you only have to rob one. one. Um, Wait, the security to get in that one may be better. They got moved to Switzerland. Yes, yeah. but it's still one bank as opposed to six, six banks. banks. Yeah. Swiss banks are more secure. That's the whole first time. Anyway, um, so I guess like, um, well, uh, okay, I think kind of, there was something else I wanted to mention. It was, um, by the way, yes, yes. Is this a universal policy? Uh, is this? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, for all Google, all Google products. Products, yeah. All, all Google, yeah. Because I know China has yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> I, I think the way it works is Google presents its what its privacy policy is, and then I think other governments can modify so it for their country. Do that here. Well, I mean, it's kind of like uh, Google search in I think China is it, where it's very yeah. oh, yeah. very filtered. limited, filtered, very filtered. Strong. Yeah, the Great Wall, I believe, is the name of the firewall that right. stuff out. Right. But I mean, like, I, I think that's how it, the first level is what Google is the privacy policy. I believe the countries can. Limit it more. I don't think they can make it less uh, less than what it is. Less than what it is. Yeah. Even make it more UK filters. Right, and I mean it's a country by country basis, and you know, I don't, it's, I don't think it's up to Google to make policies based on you know uh, what countries think. That's kind of a government issue, not as much a uh, Google issue. Does that make sense? Like it shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't try to adhere to all the government uh, the government views. It's just you know, I should get the government to 
modify it for what they believe they're they're are not citizens. Is it citizens on a national basis? Yeah, citizens should have. Yeah, you have citizens. Yeah, that's right. Um, and Google too reserves the right to broadcast you know, the website wherever they want to. So right. And they've they've shown that before. If, if they're trying to bring their service into a country and the country's trying to do something that they don't like, they just won't shut it out. You know. mm -hmm. They've done that to China several times where they cut Google off and right. they were not happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing to think too is Google is a private company. Mm -hmm. So I mean And it has stockholders. And it has right. And so I mean they do have a lot to lose and a lot to gain here. Mm -hmm. Um so if you are that worried about it, I mean, I guess they're a private company, so you can't vote on what they do. But you might say stuff. You can make them miserable. I agree. And, and I think people forget that it, it is a company at times. Like, because a lot of companies try to pretend to be so friendly and like, we don't care about you. But at the end of the day, they're a company trying to make money. I mean, I've. It, I mean, it's, if you went to Google and said, hey, do you want to stop getting a paycheck and work here for free just to help better men, uh, mankind, Google wouldn't be here tomorrow. Like, it, people would be like, okay, well, I'm going to go you know, work somewhere else now. Um, so, I mean, like, you know, it is a company at the end of the day. So, yeah, you're giving it a but yeah. You must be already have enough money to live the rest of their life comfortably. Right. And they really enjoy what they did, which is a very low probability of happening. Well, there are some people at Facebook who are looking at that decision right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, it, when the IPO goes, they will become millionaires many times over. Yeah. And then what does a 20 something do with the rest of his life? Yeah. Especially if they're really bright. Mm -hmm. Come on. You know, start your own company. Yeah. I mean, you have the money for it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do whatever the crap you want, just about. <laughs> but, but then that, gosh, that's just such a mercer thing, I'm going to say. That brings us back to vocation. You know, what what is what do we do with our lives? Money isn't the driving force. Yeah. That's, we had a, I had just taken a whole course over that last semester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, oh, good. Right so now. you have the answer, and the rest of us are just. I took that class too. <laughs> but seriously, who right now can say money is the it. driving force of what they are doing? Well, for some people it is. Like I work with some people, they went into engineering because that's where the money was. They are miserable, they hate it, but they went into it because that's where the money was. They were all they did they based their whole life and all their goals on was getting money. And I was like, You guys are going to have a sucky life. Yeah. But the point is that Google right, whether it's <laughs> whether it's wow. or not, this is going to make them money. So of course they want to do it. Yeah. Um if they can what are you looking at napkin? Oh, no. If they can provide a better service, more people are going to like it. Mostly not used. <laughs> Mostly not used. I didn't wipe my mouth on it, just a little water and wiped up off the table here. I think we'll get the other cup. I thought we were going to go through it. I'm alive. But anyway, I'm kind of back to that. The point is that Vic Google is a company that makes money, and yeah. they are out there to make money. So. When it comes down to it, are they going to make a decision that's better for their pockets or better for you? Well, from what it sounds like, this decision is not only better for their pockets as far as the ad relevancy goes, but it's also easier on their programmers because if you only have one database to deal with instead of 60, that's a lot and easier. Right, and, that, and that's what I'm saying. From a, like, if I were a Google business manager, this would make whether sense. whether it was good for me as a person or not, it would make my life a whole lot better. Yeah. So, but if they did something really outrageous, they would lose people. Yeah. I mean, Facebook poo poos the fact that after their latest policy change, they lost two percent of their people in one day. What? Uh, but two percent is a a lot when you have over um, back Yeah, back. but it's not much in terms of revenue. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they won't even see that phone. Yeah. What what policy change? I don't get on Facebook enough to. Not get even public, right? Yeah, I don't yeah. Well, no, no. They, this was a couple of years ago, maybe a year oh, ago. Oh, yeah. Where they all of a sudden your friends list were public, and I heard, and I can't run it down, that people actually died as a result of that. Really? Yeah, because if you were an Iranian who had a friend in the U.S. who was in an anti-Iranian group. Oh, they took him out. 
the Iranian government said, oh, hey, we need to go find Joe Smith. <laughs> so, so, I mean, that kind of stuff, it happened like overnight. Right? Yeah. Like, it just was instant. So, I mean, that kind of stuff happens where they don't think about, like, that's something that they probably didn't even occur to them about making friends for the public. And, so, uh, uh, what is the order of the war? I mean, but what about the, the same thing? Like, I mean, uh, Google has a Google Plus um, social network. Um, what about your, like your, your calendar or whatever? Your like, circles. It, I mean, circles and all that. Like, it, that that kind of thing could, I'm not, again, could have, would have, should have, but um, it, that kind of thing does, the point is that kind of slip ups do happen in very big organizations like the, yeah. the Sony and Facebook. You know, just sure. purely hypothetically, if I had a circle of friends, called people to take over the world with. I have one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, None of you are in. <laughs> That's you know, a shame because you're missing out on brilliant you know, wine. That's because I'm Places to idea. get fertilizer. <laughs> See, but yeah. I mean, like, like, what if you had a shopping list and the list of those products just happened to be similar to things that you could use to make a ball? You know, that, I mean, that could be a red flag and you could be, you know, red list or the black thing list. Is, I don't want to be blacklisted. Right, and, but I mean, the question is like, does this- Don't buy so much stuff online. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that, that's the point though, is like, does this make that aid more prevalent or is it already like that? And this is just, you know, making it more obvious. No, because when you buy stuff like that, you go, you pay cash and you go places that do not have high quality cameras that you know will take it over. Well, if you're week. planning on making a bomb, yeah. Yeah. Unless you're dumb, which a lot of people who make bombs are. Right. And they've caught a lot of people by doing that over the internet, where they'll like be like, "Oh yeah, this guy just bought, you know, five tons of fertilizer." Yeah, he just bought six. Yeah, this guy just went to all the Kroger's in town and bought a bunch of mineral oil. The joke behind that is we have a a professor who just went and bought a lot of mineral oil. You know, some people weren't there. Okay, I actually don't understand what people have done with mineral oil to cause that. Non-conductive. Okay, back to private <laughs> Um It's non-conductive liquid. The temperature's that. going up. So, okay. what, what, you, what about... Last night it was going 65C. Well, Dr. Rick, what? What about non-conductive liquid? Oh, I'm not because um, the mayor's going to walk out of City Hall with the city council and the steps are going to be slowed down with oil. Yeah. Okay. Right. And they slip and fall down the stairs, and the mayor breaks his neck. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I can find people use this for just about anything. So. Well, I was <laughs> hypothetically. I was wondering, wondering if there's something more serious than just. I was, that is pretty serious, but that's not like. I, I was just well, you're thinking like ball making or something like that. I was that like, it. what do you use? Or cooking, man. No, no, I know. I was just using that as a joke because we yeah, just had know, an incident where you hit by a lot of this. But no, I mean, like, it could be. But anyway, um, no, they could even use this stuff to flag people who are under 21 buying alcohol. Mm -hmm. Right, but I mean, exactly. I don't know many people that buy alcohol. But it's not illegal. But I mean, it's illegal though, right? No, but you're like, oh, but isn't isn't that illegal though? What, how could they tell That's an illegal activity. Yeah. So what? What's your justification for that? No. Like, I mean, like, like I don't want people to know that I'm potentially breaking the law. Let's see. Okay, these two murderers. I bet logic. I'm sure there are homicidal maniacs out there. Handing their information out to law enforcement. No. I mean, it's, it's not like there's, there's a Google process. The police like, ooh, let's go get them. No, there, there's a process, like we said. There, there is still due process. Yeah, but I know how easy it is to get probable cause. All you need is a judge's court order, which most of the time they can It's give. not that easy to get information. But I mean, with mm -hmm. Becky, are, are you saying that, like, if they're, I mean, if you're doing a legal activity on the internet, should the government have the right to find that information out about it? Yeah. Remember the movie Minority Report? Yes. You didn't know ever get to that situation. Mm -hmm. Now. Nah. You know, work with law enforcement. I mean, I mean, yeah, I can work down the line. I know right now, um, I, I believe there's uh, the government can ask Google for information if they're looking for a, subs uh, a suspect. I know legally they can do that now. Um, as far as like, just yeah. using Patriot that. Act, they have to get it. Yeah, but yeah. that is you've already broken the law. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, you no, don't. It's a probable cause. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, later on, that could happen. It wouldn't be that far, far away. They could do that if they want. No, it's not even a later on. If they put this all together in one location, immediately with the laws that are currently in place in the United States, then 
the FBI, anyone can go and just say, I want every single bit of information that you have on this one person that you just, for my sake, compiled it all into one 